new to upcycling and refashioning or have you been refashioning for a while and just want some extra inspiration so that you can take your upcycling game to the next level. No matter where you are in your upcycling journey, I have several tips for you when it comes to taking an old garment and reimagining it to a new garment. Hi, my name is Matilda and welcome back to Miss Matty, the channel where we talk all about how to live an awesome, sustainable and creative life. You really do not need to be good at sewing to start. When I started to upcycle, I was around 13, 14 years old. And at the time, people really didn't talk about sustainable fashion. And if they did, it was like some colorless, shapeless hemp clothing that was definitely not attractive to a teenager. My reason for refashioning at the time was really to express my style. Because, you know, when we are teenagers and we're trying to find our style, it can be really expensive to buy a lot of different clothes. So refashioning was a way for me to experiment and try out new things. And sometimes my upcycles were a success and became favorites. And sometimes they did not work out so well. I will never forget my biggest sewing and upcycling failure, which is a product that I call the inverted triangle skirt. More on that later. My first suggestion is to start small and simple. I recommend you to pick a garment from your wardrobe that you do not feel precious about and that you wouldn't miss if you screwed up. And if you do not have a garment like that, you can just ask family and friends or head over to the thrift store. I actually have a video coming up very soon with all my best thrifting tips for when you're thrifting for fabric and clothes to upcycle and refashion. And if you do not want to miss that video, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when that video is up. And when I say start small, I really mean start small. I think the first item that I refashioned or upcycled was this beanie that I have. It was like in grey wool and quite plain and boring. I decided to stitch pink sequins shaped as a heart on it and voila, I had a way cuter hat. Your first product doesn't need to be more complicated than adding some embellishments to it like I did. I also remember as a teenager that I covered up an ugly logo with a heart-shaped patch. Apparently I had a thing for hearts. I still do, to be honest. Yeah. And then I remember that I cut um, the sweatshirt here, so it was like a boat neck shape, and I changed the cuffs from red to black. And that's a really good first product for you. You do not need to even switch out the cuffs. That's a little bit more a higher level. But if you just keep the cuffs as is, cut it here, cover up a logo with a patch, or if you don't have a patch, just add some patches, or some print and you have your first refashioning project. Another great tip for your first project is to make simple adjustments to the garments you already have or that you just thrifted like shortening or lengthening the garment, shortening or removing the sleeves, cinching in the waist, etc. And remember it's okay if you fail. I have failed so many times sewing and upcycling and I still do even after 20 years of sewing so I think it's really important especially if you are a beginner to do not be disheartened when things do not work out and also remember that not all refashions require advanced sewing skills or sewing skills at all there are a lot of great no sew options like dyeing fabric painting with fabric paint cutting off jeans, t-shirts and sweatshirts as I mentioned earlier. As long as you don't unravel, you only need a good pair of scissors and you're ready to go. 
perfect clothes to start refashioning with are men's shirts, jeans and t-shirts. This is partly because, you know, there is a lot of them in the thrift store, so you do not need to be too precious about them, but also they are made in great materials for beginners to sew in. There are some tools that I think that you should always have available when you're refashioning and upcycling clothes. First of all, the most obvious one maybe, is the seam ripper. When you're upcycling clothes, you will need to unpick a lot of seams. So to have a good seam ripper ready is essential. I actually recently watched a video from Blueprint DIY and also let me know in a comment down below if any of you watches Angelina's channel. And if you don't, you should, especially if you're interested in upcycling, because that's really what her channel is all about. Anyway, recently she made a video about seam ripping and I will link that video in the description box down below because you really want the best tips on how to seam rip fast because it takes a lot of time when you're upcycling. Also remember when you're deconstructing your clothes to take photos throughout the process. I have learned so much about garment construction just by upcycling clothes. Another tool that might also be obvious is fabric shears. You really want to make sure to have a good pair of sharp fabric shears because you will cut a lot of things when upcycling. And a good pair of sharp fabric shears causes less fraying and a neater edge. And then you need pins, fabric markers such as tailor's chalk and measuring tape or some other type of measuring tool. It's really good to have a ruler as well available and matching thread. And of course, an iron with steam setting. There is a little trick that I use sometimes when upcycling. It doesn't always work, but it surprisingly often works. And that is to put my iron on with the steam setting and steam over the unpicked seams. And you will be surprised how often the stitching marks disappear. And that's really helpful when you're upcycling. And of course, if you thrifted your items, do not forget to pre-wash them. First of all, I always get black hands from heading to the thrift store so you do really want to make sure that your clothes are clean and secondly you want to make sure that they are color fast and will not fade or shrink or any of that stuff before you start to put in a lot of effort into upcycling them. I mean most of the clothes you will buy at thrift store are most likely used but some are not and you never know. So now let's get into which design you want to create. So you pick the garment that you want to upcycle and now it's time to look at that garment and ask yourself which of these details do I want to preserve. And then of course look at the construction of the garment Will you have a lot of fabric to work with or not? And remember that fewer details and simple designs might be easier to work with unless you plan to preserve the details in the garment. And also remember that if you plan to reuse the hems, the zippers, the buttons, the collars, pockets and other garment details, it actually will help you save time in your sewing. So if you want to make a quick and easy upcycle, you really should take that into consideration. I would advise you to think about refashioning as a creative challenge. Often we can view existing details, limited amounts of fabric, etc. as obstacles. But I often find that creativity flourishes when we have some limits in space. Also, pay attention to the materials. Is this material suitable for what you want to make? Does this match your skill level? Also, as always, remember to pay attention to the grain line. So you know that I mentioned earlier that my biggest sewing and upcycling fail of all time 
is known as the inverted triangle skirt. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, where to start? I do not remember exactly when this happened. I maybe it was 15, 16 at the time, but I do not fully remember. So I had this mesh dress in blue camouflage. I used to love this dress, but it was a bit too small. And I still love the fabric a lot, so I thought I was gonna upcycle it into a um, free tier sort of ruffle skirt and then on top put this black jersey cuff on top of it. I thought I measured everything correctly because it was gonna be like, of course, like a proper a-line shape. The tightest part should of course be the waist, the black jersey fabric area and then I would have one tier of um, mesh here and then another tier of mesh here and then the third and final one and um, I thought I measured it all correctly but when I was finally gonna try it on it it was impossible because the shape was literally like this. This um, jersey part was like massive and then it was just tighter and tighter. And also the gathering of those tiered things did not look good. It was a mess. I remember looking at this and like, what happened here? Like, how did this go so wrong. I think there is a couple of factors here. I didn't have the skill level yet to sew in that type of stretch fabric and also that jersey fabric was way too soft and stretchy. It needed to be much more like a cuff on a sweatshirt for it to have the right structure to work with the mesh details and also that mesh detail no, do not try to do this uh, gathered, tiered thing. It didn't look that great. It looked way better in my head than in reality. With experience, you'll be able to mix and match different materials, such as knits with wovens. But as a beginner, I would strongly advise against it. When refashioning, you can use an existing pattern or you can trace a garment that you already have, or you can use my preferred method for refashioning, which is putting the garment on your dress form, then play around on your bless form, using pins, testing out different ideas. And I also really recommend you to have your phone ready, take a lot of photos, see what you like, and then go from there. Any of these methods work, it's all up to you. And I sometimes use a pattern that I already have and sometimes I also draft a new one. It all depends. I do very rarely trace from existing garments. I only do that if I want to copy something that I already own, which I rarely do, to be honest, but it happens. And when you're cutting, make sure to cut as close to the seams as possible to preserve maximum amount of materials. But I sometimes prefer to seam rip and iron the seams out, especially if I do not want to waste any materials. And also, remember, if you want to upcycle details such as zippers, and other details such as colors you do want to seam rip and make sure to be really careful when removing these details from the garment. Bigger is better but not always. A bigger garment will give you more freedom in your design decisions and it will help you avoid using any potentially worn out seams but bigger isn't always better. For example, making a shirt one size smaller requires minor adjustments, whereas if you want to make a shirt three sizes smaller, it requires a much more throughout deconstruction. The most important thing is that the garment that you want to upcycle fits you over the hips and bust. The rest can be adjusted if needed. You can of course combine materials from several garments as well. This is where it can be really handy to pick a garment that there is a lot of in the thrift store so that you can combine similar qualities or similar colors together. But you can of course use 
contrasting colors and materials as well. Always follow the motto, measure twice, cut once. This is always true when it comes to sewing, but especially when you're upcycling because the material is limited. Unlike when you sew with fabric by the meter or yard edge, you have a very limited amount of fabric to work with and you do not want to waste any of that. So when you are upcycling, you want to make sure that you are regularly trying things on, mark hemlines and necklines before you sew anything and always double or triple check measurements before you cut. Ready to start refashioning? I actually have a Pinterest board where I have gathered many fun upcycling ideas as well as mending inspiration and I will link to that Pinterest board in the description box down below. If you need any inspiration I will highly recommend you to start checking out that board and then go down the rabbit hole that is Pinterest. You will surely find some fun ideas to do in your next refashion. Also check out my scrap busting idea video as I think many of those ideas will work really well not only with scraps but with upcycled materials as well. Comment down below with your best refashioning tips and also let us all know what is your favorite garments or materials to upcycle with. And until next time, bye!